I it has to be Thailand. Now I'm talking with you. <laughs> Well, I actually got to play at a, um, a festival in Texas uh, like a couple weeks ago. But before that, uh, ooh, I don't know, like 14 months or something like that. Oh, well, definitely awesome. over a year. Um, and yeah, it's feels like a really long time. But um, I'm definitely looking forward to playing a lot more this, this summer, at least here in the U.S. And Hopefully, it can do some international touring soon. It's been a challenge not to uh, be able to like be with people, like hang out with at least earlier on. It was challenging not to be with like friends and family, and then really hard to not do shows and travel around the world. Like uh, so much of my creative inspiration comes from traveling and performance and connecting with the fans. Uh, so yeah, that was really hard and has been really hard. Um, but I think like everybody kind of were able to sort of get used to like the new normal and uh, try and deal with it as best as possible. But um, yeah, it was definitely, definitely a challenging year for sure. Yeah, it was an awesome experience. Like being a uh, <clears throat> Bangkok is such a it's such a cool it's such a cool, interesting city, uh, and so it was a really fun experience uh, getting to go. And I definitely look forward to coming back. I felt a good connection with the fans that were there at the festival, and I definitely uh, definitely would love to continue um, to play out there a lot more in the future. I call it the TikTok lottery, where you just don't know like what songs will really take off. But um, I do know that that was that's always been one of like my most special songs. Like even just when I was making it and when I released it, I always felt um, there was something special with the song. To see it do this kind of like reactivity and, and spike, and I, I don't necessarily know what it is about it but um i love i love it <laughs> i definitely do and it's really fun to see the videos and see that people are connecting to the song and listening to the song uh because it's uh it's very meaningful to me and it's a special one so it's uh it's really cool i've always like played musical instruments like played the piano and guitar growing up and um i've always been like big on melody and like chords and like soundscapes and uh, I, whenever I'm making the music, I really try and feel like the emotions. I really try and focus on creating that as emotion as much as possible. I always just like to, like I close my eyes and like visualize when I'm making the music and creating it. So I think maybe that has uh, a little bit something to do with it. It's got a lot of emotion, but it has like a, a really like um, uplifting, dancey vibe to it. Um, I think a lot of the inspiration of the record was um, that we were in the middle of the pandemic and feeling down about things, but hopeful that when things get better, like we're gonna be able to come together again and celebrate. And that's a lot of the inspiration behind it. And that's a lot of the feelings of the record reflect that. So um, I hope it's, uh, it's like, I hope people like it. It's a very like um, emotional and uplifting dance record. Um, so I hope, uh, yeah, I hope it resonates with people as we, as we get out of the uh, pandemic and things start to get better. I don't know if I have any, like, that's tough to say. I mean, I feel like I generally, especially lately before, before like um, the COVID and stuff, but I felt like the shows were getting so good. Like it was so uh, exciting because more and more people started to know the music and I started like, hearing the crowd sing back the music, like in different countries all over the world. Like they like really knew the lyrics and things like that. and. That's all that always gets me the most. Like I get the most goosebumps when I when I can hear the crowds like singing back the lyrics and really knowing the songs. Um, I mean, <laughs> bad shows. 
I don't know. I guess not some like weird shows. I don't know if I've had like bad ones, but weird ones where maybe like I wasn't the right musical fit for a for a show, like the wrong opener, something like that. But that hasn't happened for a while. It's been just like honestly, it had been really good uh, lately, and um, hopefully, hopefully it stays that way. Honestly, I would love to do a bunch of stuff in in throughout Asia. I mean, I, I, I love the US touring. Like it's it, it's definitely like my my biggest market. And I, you know, I, I do love doing domestic, but traveling like overseas is really inspiring for me. I have a, a big US tour planned it's pretty soon. But after that, I would love to come back um, to Asia and Thailand specifically. My message would be that I'm really thankful for your support. Um, it means a lot to me. Like if I didn't have fans uh, and you guys supporting my music, I wouldn't be able to do this for a career and do what I love to do. So I'm forever grateful uh, for that. And um, I really hope uh, you like the music that I've been making over the last year. I'm, I'm really proud of it. And uh, I'm really, uh, really excited to share it with everyone. Hope to see you out there in, in Bangkok soon.